Hi, this is Edwina Chong from MHC. I'm here at Mount Avenue Medical Clinic to interview Dr. Tan Kok Soon, a cardiologist who works at this medical centre. What is an ECG? What can it diagnose and what can't it diagnose? An ECG, basically ECG means electrocardiogram. And this is essentially a electrical tracing of the heart. And what we do is that we, the way we get an ECG from a patient is that we put electrodes, about 12 electrodes, onto the various uh, surface of the chest and on your arms and legs. And we take a 12 seconds reading of the electrical activity of the heart. It's a very, very simple thing to perform. And in most uh, clinics, even in GP clinics, this is an easily performed uh, test. Okay? This test has been around for many, many years. In actual fact, this has been around for the last 100 years or so. However, it is still very relevant for cardiac practice today because it is a very useful and simple way of uh, detecting or looking for abnormalities of the heart. For instance, an electrocardiogram can detect a lot of uh, electrical abnormalities of the heart, irregular heart rhythm, rhythms that are too fast, too slow, extra heartbeats and all that. All this will show up very clearly on an electrocardiogram. The other very important area when we do an electrocardiogram is that when we suspect that somebody has blockages in their heart arteries or if they have a heart attack. This again can show all this up very clearly uh, most of the times. Uh, most of the time. However, this is not foolproof. There's a lot of other conditions of the heart that uh, will not be picked up by doing ECG. For instance, even if you've got very, very bad blockages of the heart arteries, but if you are at rest and you are feeling comfortable and there's no damage to the heart, the electrocardiogram can be totally normal, despite the fact that you may have 90% blockages in various parts of your heart arteries. Now, there are other conditions also that would not uh, uh, be detected from just an ECG. For instance, if you've got mitral valve prolapse, usually there may be some changes on the heart tracing, but most times the ECG could be totally normal. Uh, for instance, in other uh, areas that the ECG is not so useful would be that if you have got intermittent symptoms, for instance, if you've got intermittent irregular heart rhythm, because the uh, ECG is only taken over a period of 5 to 12 seconds, most times your heart is still beating regularly and so the ECG on its own may not be so useful in detecting uh, irregular heart rhythm either. Get connected with us at MHC.